Yo, what's going on snipers and welcome back to our auto centers franchise mode. So in last episode we had the complete season simulation and we actually just missed out on a playoff spot which is kind of surprising. We kind of had a really good second half uh, to the season because we started off really slow and that's probably why we didn't make it. As you can see we finished uh, 11th best but we were like around 10 points out I think of the last wild card maybe or maybe not actually. Uh, yeah, we were quite far out, but we still were the next best team that missed out on it in our division, uh, beating out teams like Montreal, Buffalo, and Detroit. So we're up here in the off season, and we have the twelfth overall pick at the draft. Um, obviously, I think our team is getting uh pretty decent in terms of shape and growth, because like Brady to Chuck is growing nicely, Colin White is, Logan Brown is, Pukhanov is. And then some of our young defensive prospects in the AHL as well. So I think we could be a potential team that makes the playoffs this year if we draft well and maybe get another good prospect into this organization. So let's see what we could get here at the draft. We have the 12th overall pick and the 25th overall pick. I am going to try and attempt to trade up for the 5th overall pick with those two picks, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it from Buffalo. Uh, it's just because I want an offensive defenseman in Pierre Talbot who's supposed to go in the top 5. Um, so let's see if we can get him. I doubt we can, but we might as well try. So let's see, two firsts. It looks pretty even. Two firsts for the one first. I don't know though if it would go through. Probably not. And it is rejected. Okay, so yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to move up. There was one other player I was looking at that's supposed to go in our position, it looks like. Or a bit after our position, actually, I think. Um, there was this to Chuck guy, but there was also... Who was it? I had him pinned, I think. Maybe? Or maybe not. Or maybe he is supposed to go higher. Oh yeah, this guy... Uh, by, uh, Brian McHutchen. This guy is a medium top four defenseman, so he's not a medium elite, but he's got all A stats and a B defensive stats. So this guy might be a really good steal, even though he's only a medium top four. Like he might actually be even better than some of these other guys, like Ristolainen. So um, I don't know if I want to take to Chuck or what. I might try and make a. Uh, uh, should I trade back for when uh, I'm gonna just try and take uh, whoever's best available at that spot So let's sim to user pick. Let's see who went in the top three first So Ranger went to the Canucks McPherson goes to the Islanders and Vitaloma goes to the Rangers Pierre Tablo went to Detroit Okay, did that guy go yet? I don't think so right No, he did not I feel like he would be the better player, but I don't know if Tuchuk is actually medium elite because he's got two bars medium elite. Um, his stats don't look better though, so I think I might go with that medium top four defenseman or I go with this high top six forward potential guy. Uh, he doesn't look the greatest either. I think I'm going to go with McCutcheon, even though he looks like he's supposed to go later. It's just because this guy looks like he could be a really good defenseman. So let's go with Brian McCutcheon and see how he is. I guess in the preseason next year. We're only going to do the draft and the resign stage again in this, just so you guys could chimp in with stuff. So with our other pick here in this first round, let's see what could we get. Um, medium elite defenseman. We don't need more defensemen, really. We could pick up some more wingers. This Kyle Ferrelli guy looks pretty good. Uh, he had 75 points in 63 games in the United States. He's a left-handed shot. Maybe he's like a medium top six forward. Um, hmm. I don't know if I want to go with him or not. Loktyanov might be medium elite. I don't think so though. Oh wait, actually he's got some good stats it looks like. Like Marcel Dion. Hmm. You know, even though this guy's supposed to go later, I'm going to take a risk with him because since he's like a Ukrainian forward, maybe he's going to get along with like Pukhanov and whatnot. So here you go, Artem Loktyanov. I could go with other guys, but we need centers too, kind of. So let's see how good that guy is as well. Hopefully he's medium elite. And then second round, what could we get? Uh, Zanetti, Lamb, Lowly Lamb. A right wing sniper, that's not bad. How is his stats? Not looking too horrible. 
Uh, Pushkarev, a left winger, another Russian. This guy looks pretty good, actually. Ivan Pushkarev. Yeah, we're going to go with another Russian kind of guy. Maybe that's how we're going to build this team, is just full of Russians. Make it like the Red Army or something. Uh, round three, what do we want to get? I never looked this far into the draft. Medium starter. We do have our medium elite goalie, but it wouldn't be bad to get more goalie prospects. Uh, he doesn't look the greatest, though. This guy is a medium elite. Right wing playmaker, Terrell Baumgartner. Uh, he looks okay for medium elite. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's bring in Terrell Baumgartner. Sure, why not? He's 19. Uh, fourth rounder. What do we want to get? We got prospects in pretty much every uh, like category right now. So it's just about finding those extra players. Um, Bonnet. No. I don't know if he's even in medium top four. Hmm. There's a lot of defensemen at the spot. This guy might be a low lead center. Tim Silfido, I don't even pronounce it. Uh, he doesn't look the greatest. How does Bonnet look so far? Not the greatest either. Um, you know, Hobson looks good, even though he's a meme top 60, it looks like. He's 20 years of age. Let's bring him in. He could probably play in the AHL this year. With our fifth round pick, we have two of them, actually. Um, fringe starter, no thanks. Helmerson. Eh, bottom six four, but still why not? But Smirnov might be a little elite. Uh, he's actually got some B stats. Yeah, you know what? Let's just go with Marcus Smirnov. Sure, why not? Another twenty year old Russian player, herbal Ukrainian. Uh, next pick here in this fifth round. Um, I guess we'll take Helmerson, even though he's medium, uh, bottom six four. We might need some bottom six forwards, and hopefully he's one of the ones that actually pan out. Because they don't seem to pan out that often. Um, Ulanov, Alexei Ulanov, uh, Barrett, Trainer, uh, low top nine. That might be some good trade bait. Philip Sakaras, let's go with him. And then we should just have our seventh rounder. Yep, we just have one seventh rounder, and then that is the draft. Um, let's go with. Hmm. How is Craig as a backup? Not that bad looking like so far. Um, Ted Green, another goalie. Low elite McPherson. Uh, not the greatest. But he is a low elite. You know what, let's just go with McPherson since he's a low elite, why not? There you go, and that should be it for the 2021 draft, I think. Yep, there you go. So hopefully McCutcheon actually is a good pick, and hopefully he wasn't a bit of a reach, and same with Loktyanov, but they fit, fit our needs, and I think they could do good here in Ottawa, so there you go. Now let's get on to the re-sign stage. Like I said, I don't think we're going to be doing free agency in this episode, uh, just because, yeah, um, so, okay. Just because I want you guys is to have like guys to give me some input on who to sign and whatnot. Um, but we might not need to sign that much if we have good enough prospects and stuff. So wow, we got quite a few RFAs to sign this year. Um, so obviously I want to get Logan Brown back. Since we have how much cap space? Fifty six million dollars. That's pretty good. Let's give Logan Brown. Yeah, three years is fine. I'm fine with giving him that. Um, just a bit less than he wants though. There you go. Uh, Remy Ellie. He was a solid fourth liner, but I don't know. Hmm. Breeze Ball, I'm definitely going to bring him back because he, wanna, yeah, he wants a two way deal, so definitely going to bring him back. Cal Foot, obviously, I'm going to bring him back. He wants a one way deal, so he should be ready for the NHL this season. Um, yeah, I'm fine with giving him two years at 1.050. There you go. Max Joy, let's give you a two-way deal for the AHL. Batherson as well. Oh, he wanted a one-way deal. Oh, well. At least it was 975. Gagne, um, same thing. I'm going to get you guys back some contracts just because you guys could play good down there in the minors with some of the youngsters, even though you guys are still kind of young. Um, but Luchuk is going to be released. Same with Paul because those guys are not making the NHL anytime soon. Christian Jaros as well is going to get released because I think he has like medium seventh potential. 
Gustafson could get released for the or not released, <laughs> re-signed for the AHL. Um, unsigned guys, Jansen, 62, low elite, 20 years of age, why not? You could get a contract. Uh, medium elite, Baumgartner, the guy that we just signed, does he want a maximum contract? Yes, he does. I don't know if I want to sign him yet, though. Hmm. You know what, I'm going to sign him right now. I think he goes back to, does he go back to the OHL or no? No, he goes back to there, or he would be playing in the AHL. Uh, I'm going to wait a year, I think, on him, just in case. Loktyanov would come into the AHL. I think I'm going to give him also a year to kind of find out who he is. Uh, McPherson, I think I'm going to sign him just because he was our... Wait, was he actually... No, he was a 7th rounder, right? Yeah, he was our 7th rounder. How many years has he played in the United States? 3 years. You know what? I'm going to give him a contract. He could play in the AHL. Considering we have a lot of defensemen that are going to be moving out anyways, out of the AHL, um, McCutcheon, since he was our first round pick, I'm going to sign him, even though he was playing in the SHL, apparently. We're going to give him a contract, because he looked pretty good in terms of that stuff. Uh, Pushkarev, I'm going to leave again for now. Sikaras, I'm going to leave for now as well. And well, Smirnov, actually, since he's 20, we're going to give him a contract. The other guys could stay there for one year. Because I don't want to uh, put them in the HL at like a 50-something overall. So I think I might actually give Remy Ellie a contract for one more year or something. For the bottom line, he's not that bad of a player. So one year at 1.55. And then UFAs. Oh yeah, Brady to Chuck is our big one. Because when you create players, they become UFAs. So we're going to give him... I want to give him too long term of a deal because push care or uh, not push care of um, Pakanov takes priority. So let's give him four point seven two five or five point seven two five for four years. And then we are going to release. Who do we have to release? Hargrave's not going to be anything, so we're going to release him. Same with Harley or Holly or whatever it was. Brewer, high age, all top two defensemen. You know what? We're going to sign you. There we go. Uh, Svenningsen. Doesn't look the greatest either. I'm going to release you. Moronov, I'm going to sign you since you're, you got medium top 9 potential. Same with Fijamo or Fijamo. Fantenberg, you're going to be released because you were just signed for one year anyways. Same with Wotherspoon, we got to make room for all those youngsters. And Joachim Ryan. Martin Nuke, you're also going to go. Pretty much everybody we signed this offseason is... Um, I am going to release definitely Zach Smith, because of the fact he probably wants a lot. Yeah, 2.5 is not bad, but still, I'm going to release him. Uh, I am going to sign Colton Sissons if I can for one year for that fourth line roll. I'm going to give him a bit more than he wants, just in case. Um, Aston Reese. Hmm. Aston Reese I wouldn't mind bringing back one year at $2 million as well. Since we have the cap space. And then the Zingle. <clears throat> so the Zingle I'm going to also offer a contract renewal to. But only for one year. Just because I want to like get these guys. Um, kind of just filling those spots until we get our youngsters ready. So we'll give him one year at three and a half. For almost. Schultz is going to go. Even though he was a big signing this offseason. Yanni Gord is going to go as well for now. CC is... Hmm. CC is still one of our top defenders. What does he want? One... Oh, wow. Five years. I'm going to give him one year. I know this is a lot for Cody CC, but I'm going to give him one year at $6 million. And then that way we have at least... If, like, one of our youngster defensemen is not ready yet, we could play him. And then these two goalies, Kincaid and Lyon, are both going to go as well. Because they were just temporary signings. So let's now advance the day and see if we get everybody back. Okay, so we got Remy Ellie back. We got Sissons, CC. Anybody reject? That's the main concern. If anybody rejected. Oh, wait, was that Calfoot that rejected? I don't know why Calfoot would reject. 
Maybe I have too much roster spot or roster spots taken. No, I do not. Yeah, Calfoot rejected. Maybe I went too low on the deal. Okay, I'll give you your two years at 1.3. Well, actually, he doesn't want that much for that many years. So let's give him one year at or three years at 1.5 because I have seen him grow really good sometimes. And if for some reason he doesn't, we could just always trade him. And then, yeah, that's the only guy we need to get back. And then we'll see what's available in terms of free agents. We'll also see what we need. So Calfoot is accepted. There you go. Okay, so everybody is back. Let's into free agency. Hopefully there's something decent that we could pick up for this team. We do need also some more scouts for the start of the season, so I'm going to have to try and remember that. Okay, so let's take a look at our roster first and see what we have. Um, I think we probably have a lot of good young defensemen, but I don't know if we have enough forwards. Okay, so in terms of centers, let's see our overalls. So we have four centers. We could use a depth center or we could still use Philip Tilapic. Um, I might want to find a better depth center. So that's one thing that we could look after. Uh, we do need two more left wingers, it looks like. Yeah, two more left wingers and one more right winger. So we're going to need quite a few forwards. But we have two, four, potentially six. Actually, Cal Foot, Bergman, I don't think is going to play in the NHL this year. But Foot, uh, Rask, Breeze Boss, Cernak. Yeah, we got uh, six defensemen. We might be a bit weak, but still. Uh, Gustafson and F uh, Fowler. Yeah, we're going to need two goalies. So yeah, we pretty much just need a decent amount of forwards, like some right wingers and left wingers, and then a, a one-two punch for goaltenders. So let's see what there is in terms of free agents. And then I'll also show you guys the trading block, and then that'll be it for this episode. So in terms of left wingers, there is Ovechkin, but I don't think it's realistic to sign Ovechkin. It would be cool to bring Ovechkin in for one year. There's also people like Brandon Saad. There is definitely some good left wingers. Tara Vinen wouldn't be that bad either because I think he's decently young still. Yeah, he's only 26. And then Saad's like 28. So there's definitely some left wingers I could sign. I wouldn't mind Schwartz either, but he wants a lot of money. In terms of right wingers, we could go after somebody like Brendan Gallagher, Ilya Kovalchuk, even though he is pretty old, Brock Nelson, this Volkov guy, 23 years of age, wow, he might be actually pretty good, um, and then Matt Calvert and stuff like that, and then defensemen, I don't think we're going to pick up any defensemen because I would rather play those youngsters that are almost ready, um, but there is definitely some good defensemen if you guys see anything I could go after. And then in terms of goaltending, we need a 1-2 punch. We could always go after Frederick Anderson, but that's a bit of uh, yeah, a bit pricey of a goaltender. And he is already 31. But there is Corpus Allo, and is he an, a UFA or an RFA or whatever it is? He's a UFA, 27 years of age. Corpus Allo might be a pretty decent uh, steal. And then there's also like Grubauer and whatnot so there's definitely some things we could go after in terms of potential players for the AHL um well Kerfoot wouldn't be that bad of a signing either but he's a center there is still some low elites it looks like that one undrafted yeah that's pretty much it okay so now let's just check the trading block and see if there's anything available that you guys might think we can make a trade for we do still maybe want to move like Bobby Ryan potentially. Uh, yeah, probably trading block just because he's got one year left and he's making a lot of money. We could free up some cap space that way. So there's Fowler, Manson, and Perry on the block. Mikhail Grabner, uh, how do you even pronounce that name? Kern Kovic, Lacau, um, Okposa McQuaid, and Scandella, Neil, Frolik, Backland, Falk Rask is not that bad. He's 28. And Joe Pavelski, uh, Taze Gardner in Seabrook, Landis Cog, Soderberg, and Andrew Ghetto, uh, Para and Dennis, Zuccarello and Camper, Kreider and Abdul Kader, Milan Lucic, no thank you, and Tyler Benson, Tootin and Noel, Dustin Brown still playing, Suter and Spurgeon, no, I don't want Suter. That contract's bad. Furland. Who else do we got here? 
Pecorine and Patrick Maroon. Svedberg, Ronning, and Caldwell. I don't want to bring in Ty Ronning. I don't want to, like, do what uh, x Tech's probably going to be doing. Uh, Yarncroc, Smith, and Duchesne. Hainsey, Santini, uh, Simmons, and Van Riemsdyk. Thorne and Blanchard. Thorne's looking like a medium elite, but I don't really have anything I could give up for him. Um, San Jose has nothing. Bowmeister and Prop. Ernie, uh, Hourluck, and Volkov. Oh, Volkov must have been an RFA. Huh. Still wouldn't be a bad signing to get him. Hyman, Bogosian, and Dehan. Lee, Bacchus, and Erickson. Statsin, Nyquist, and Pajot. And then Niskin and Boychuk, and nothing for the Jets. So, if you guys saw anything that I could trade for, let me know down below in the comments. Or did you see anything that I could sign in terms of free agents? Let me know also down below in the comments. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.